and welcome back to the channel well look at this awesome machine and it is based on a real car as you can see now coming on the photos so this is a mclaren 720s but with the 1016 industries wide body kit and some special wheels i found this article online and i realized that wow this extreme modified mclaren is actually something we could build on an Itali GTB custom, the wide arches of course giving the wide body. I think this looks really good and you know I've not liked this car, I'll probably link to an article where I said I'm never going to use it again because it doesn't look enough like a McLaren and then I've used it again so it's a bit hypocritical but yeah look this looks fantastic. So we need to get this into the workshop now, get it built I'm just doing this as a bit of a one take quick video for you so um, no cinematics and depending on how well NVIDIA broadcast works we might get some clicks on the keyboard coming through. Ah oh, look at the rain. But yeah I'm really pleased with this and it means that I now am happy to display this car in my British supercars collection rather than hiding it away. You could also say it does look pretty GTA really. Okay, we'll run them quickly through the build, get back in. Armour bulletproof tyres, performance all up to you. They do have to be maxed on this particular car. Front bumpers, apart from the no diffuser, they all come with that extreme uh, front sort of splitter wing which we need. And without running through them all, I think vented bumper gets about the closest to what we want. You can see it's changing a lot of the parts on top of the uh, wing. Rear bumpers, not much choice and for the same reason as on the Tate's cars sort of, I've just gone with carbon touring diffuser. Roll cage really doesn't matter. I have one left over from a previous build. You can't really see any of it because we've got dark windows. For the engine uh, sorry, for the exhaust, I've gone with stock exhaust, and the reason is I want two round exhausts somewhere up here. Uh, all the others are different shapes, so not much choice there. Of course, we talked about wanting a wide body for this 1016 Industries kit, and stock does not complete this front arch, so we've gone extended on there. When we get to the rear, quite happy with the stock don't think it makes much difference really with the extended and I don't like some of the short ones so that's those two. There's a couple of hoods that would actually work because the instep hoods as discussed on the Tate cars uh, are not bad these two lines making you think of the two vents but on this particular one there's a very raised middle portion and for that reason I do prefer this street racer hood because they've sunk these down you get that raised portion. Now I know it puts the vents in the wrong place but I think it works. Lights, I would put car meat on this but it seems because I built the car many years ago when I first bought it I've got xenons on there but these bluey ones don't look right so um, nor do the yellowy ones it needs to go to the car meat. Put a black number plate on ideally for the respray we have a metallic colour you could almost have gone classic as well. I went with a metallic black it doesn't show here, but I did. I gave it a slight pearlescent to give it a sort of a little bit of a sheen, but you could also remove that pearlescent and just go with a normal black, I guess. But I think it's worth just adding either a carbon black or a graphite to it. I don't think I have secondary colour parts. It's set classic black, but I don't think it's doing anything. A stock roof is the best. I don't want stuff up there. And for the skirts, this small winglet here and the general look of the carbon low-level skirt I think worked the closest. The carbon wing type 2 works really nice as the spoiler on this rather extreme bodied car. Not perfect but you know it's not a million miles off. Now when it came to wheels there's nowhere I could match the awesomeness of the existing wheels but track wheels and black top blender there's a lot going on in these wheels, just like the ones on the car we're looking at. I know we have a, a ring of uh, diamond cut around the outside. It's not perfect, but I think these I think these work. They're painted in a dark copper, which almost looks like gold, of course, in this game. 
I guess if you're HSW, if you have one of those really vivid sort of coppery coloured ones, you can probably get closer than I can here. And the windows, you could either limo them out, or I've gone dark smoke, which seems just slightly more realistic, but either one of these would do. Now I am aware you could take this car to Benny's, I think there would be one or two extra things, probably the interior could be done at Benny's. I haven't bothered to rush down there because for me the build was about the bodywork, blacking out the windows, not particularly even looking inside. Uh, but of course, if you take it down there, I suspect there are further options uh, above what I've shown you. I don't really think you need them. So that completes the build of this car. Here we are. I think this looks really, really good. I very much enjoyed having it in my collection, as I mentioned to you before. If you haven't seen the video building Andrew and Tristan Tate's cars, which I put out a few days ago, then I'll link that at the end for you, because that gives you some builds and some commentary, really, on the standard version of this car, as opposed to the custom. So if you're into these at all, that would be well worth looking at like to know really what you think of this build and I'd love comments specifically on what do you do with this car we all know that it is a bit mixed up in the looks department how do you build it love to know that other than that I really hope you enjoyed this short video and thank you so much for watching <laughs>